African manatees are extremely cryptic and elusive creatures. Back in the wild, it's very hard to study them. It's very hard to understand the animal. They are already listed as CITES 1, which is the highest level of endangered species. So their level of protection is considered to be absolutely critical. According to the IUCN Red List, they're vulnerable to extinction, but primarily they are threatened by being caught in fishing nets, either in the coastal areas where they live or inland. They're also threatened by dams. So dams in these rivers, which are inland in West Africa, prevent the manatees from moving from one area to another. So they prevent interbreeding. They're also to some degree threatened by habitat loss. The population crisis of African manatees is new information. Once the information came to light, it was realized that only a few African manatees are in facilities around the world. In South Korea, there was one facility that had a pair. It's uh, two males and the facility donated these two African manatees to the National Aquarium at Abu Dhabi as part of a big conservation project. These particular African manatees have been in human care for almost their entire lives. Industry experts agree that this deems them unreleasable. They would not know how to survive in the wild. The two manatees were moved to this facility successfully and safely, and now that they are here, they are ambassadors to their kind. African manatees are the least studied of all the Sirenians. By having them here, we are one of the few, if not the only aquarium that is actually going to be doing research about this species. They are very secretive, and you cannot or can barely see them in the wild. And uh, having them here under our care will allow the scientists to actually come and engage directly with them and learn things that they can take back to the region where the manatees actually live and help them in the wild. I am here in Senegal in the natural habitat of the African manatee. By helping this group of scientists, we are not only going to learn more about these animals, but we hope that we are going to continue supporting the next generation of scientists that will carry on with the conservation work. This partnership with the National Aquarium enables a longer programmatic approach to conservation of these manatees in, in West Africa. It's rare for people to actually see them. And that's where being able to engage and observe and watch an animal up close in water which is clear and easy to see can be so important. It can really make people feel a connection with those animals, which would then translate into an interest and a wish and a desire to keep those animals in the wild protected and conserved and to help reduce the threats that those animals in the wild then face. I think it's very exciting that the National Aquarium can team up with the Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund and really follow up and build on this Abu Dhabi ethos of support for conservation globally.